Hey guys, Jay Nasty here. What is up, boys? To today's video, yeah, well, let's let's just fucking cut straight to the shit. God damn. But anyways, guys, if you guys do or do not know, T Martin and Syndicate have been in a CS:GO little scandal with skins and stuff like that. They're betting on their own website, promoting it, and not disclosing it in the info section below in their videos. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's against YouTube terms of service, and it's just a pretty scumbag thing to do. But that's not what I'm really pissed off about. I want to go in a little bit deeper, and one thing that really fucking annoys me about these YouTubers, especially these Call of Duty YouTubers, which their fan bases are young. Like, let's be honest, FaZe Rain, Syndicate, T Martin, their fan base is what? What are you guys saying? Like, especially FaZe Rain and Syndicates, their fans are probably in the in the young range, probably below the age of 13 or around there. Um, they don't have that idea of money, that concept of money. Maybe some of them do that work for their money at that young age or do chores and stuff around the house. I'm not too sure, but most of them don't have a, um, they, they don't understand the value of money and they probably ask their parents for money, etc, etc. And one thing that really grinds the fuck out of my gears is when they promote these CSGO betting sites. And mind you, you can win big. Yes, you can win big, but you can also lose big and the chances of you winning big are slim to none. I don't know anybody that's continued on betting that has actually always kept their skins. Everybody that I've ever met that has won big on there, on any of the CSGO betting sites, has always lost their ass later on down the road, and they ended up with zero to no skins. And I've betted way back in the day when it first started coming popular, I've lost like $800 betting, and it's just no joke. Don't do that shit. Don't bet, boys. The one thing that really irks my, like, irks me, like, really gets under my skin is when I see shit like this from Syndicate. And I'm gonna read you guys a tweet, I'm gonna show you guys on the screen right now. He goes, I apologize to anyone who feels misled regarding the ownership of CSGO Lotto. I will always be transparent from here on out. So if you guys don't know, he's the vice president of CSGO Lotto. He was uploading videos, yada, yada, yada. And then some guy, I don't, we don't even care about that. But this is the thing that pisses me off the most. He goes, I've lost more than I've ever won on the site. Okay, Syndicate, if you've lost more than you've ever won on the site, why the fuck? Why the fuck are you promoting it to your young viewers? You're literally promoting a site that is going to take their money. That's what you're promoting, and that's what you're defending right here, is that if you go on to CSGO Lotto, you're going to lose your fucking money. But since Syndicate is a big-time YouTuber, T Martin's a big-time YouTuber that have all this revenue from their videos, and they built it up over the years... It, it doesn't matter to them if you lose 100 bucks, 50 bucks, 20 bucks. That's chump change motherfuckers right there. We're chump change compared to these guys. They, they're probably millionaires, you know? And so if they're losing five to $10,000 on this site, but in return, they're getting four to 6% of all transactions on this site. And then in the long run, they're actually making more money because that wouldn't make sense, right? Why would you start a business knowing you're going to be losing your money? It's not, they're not losing money. They're gaining money. That's why they're that's why they're promoting it. That's why if you go to CSGOLotto.com, you're going to see a shit ton of skin giveaways promoting the site even more. They're not losing money. Trust me. They're making a shit ton of money. If you guys didn't know, if you watch this video called Hehe he Productions, I'll put the link in the video or link in the description below. Uh, CSGO gambling is like $2.3 billion industry. It is very, very large. So these guys are making money. And just the thing that really fucking pisses me off, man, is that they are no... They're, they knowing... You're gonna, they know you're gonna lose your money when you put your skins in. They know you're gonna lose your money, and that's what they want you to do. They want you to put your money into this. They want you to lose your money on this because they're making a profit off of you. They're making a profit off their young viewers who have supported them throughout the years, put them in a position where they can be making serious money, where they don't have to get a real job, they don't have to get a real education, and they can just do whatever the fuck they wanna do. And you've supported these guys, and now they're just being a scumbag motherfuckers, man. That's that's as scummy as you can get, man. I've lost more than I've ever won on the site, but I'm going to promote it to you so I can make even more money in the return off my viewers who have already blessed me enough with this large channel. And it's, I don't know, man, that's pretty fucking scummy. Leave a comment section, uh, leave a comment in the comment section below what your thoughts about this. And also, I just want to say... If you guys support, these are the types of people you support in the community, man. Think about it. T. Martin is up at Infinity Ward. He's going to be in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare or some shit like that. This guy knowingly lied about it, about being the CSGO Lotto owner. He got he got proven wrong. And this is the guy that's your COD ambassador. This is the guy that tells us every year that Call of Duty is great. This is the guy that never 
has a single constructive criticism about Call of Duty every fucking year, and it gets worse and it gets worse. While he goes to Infinity War, Treyarch, Sledgehammer Games, and he doesn't fucking give a shit. He doesn't care if the gamers the game is good or not. Like I wish you guys would understand that. But anyways, guys, I'm out. Peace out, Slowbag, motherfuckers.